Well, the good news is it's raining and it's beautiful and like 68 degrees. The bad news is my skid plate just got ripped off the bottom here. So, yeah, well, most of it got ripped off and then I had to finish it off. <sighs> it's all an adventure. Now, the question is where I'm going to put this without getting my bed all dirty. Here is tonight's camp. The site I have to survey is basically here, just in that drainage right over there. So that's going to be really nice. I won't have to get up extra early, just like roll out of bed <laughs> and do my survey. Uh, it's been quite an adventurous day, to say the least. Uh, and it's raining right now and like 64 degrees. So it's gonna be great. I won't be too hot in the car. Oh, I think I'm gonna sleep really well, so yay. All right, I am all set for the night. I have filled up my water bottles. I have put out tomorrow's survey outfit. I have my dinner out. I have my journal and book. I have coffee prepped for tomorrow morning. I'm just going with some instant fancy. Uh, my bed is made. I have my little hanging light. I'm not gonna sleep with the windows open. I usually don't use that light when the windows are down because it attracts all the bugs and I just, so I end up using a red light on my headlamp. Um, but since it's cool enough, I'm gonna sleep with the windows open, I mean shut, and then I can use that light and read and write. And yeah, I got my skid plate right there. That's that's fun. Um, oh, just a random tip. If you're camping in your car, make sure that you have easy access to the driver's seat so that you can just like crawl up into the seat in case of an emergency and you need to get out really quickly. Also, make sure to keep your car keys in a place that is easy to get to as well. And so I'm going to actually put them in the cup holder so they don't get kicked or misplaced and then that way I can hop into the front seat grab them and go if I need to so that's my car camping tip <laughs> so now this is my third week of camping um, second week of of going at it alone and I really refined some of the things that I bring for sure and I just wanted to say that one of my favorite purchases for this job for, the, for these trips has been this toothbrush I know it's it's so simple but I have just been using a regular toothbrush to travel with for so long and I haven't bothered to put it in a bag or Get a little cap for it or anything so it just like floats in my bathroom bag and I just love how compact this is with a little tube of toothpaste on the bottom it's been really nice <laughs> so big fan of this tube that's what it's called t-o-o-b I also think that I so I've worn a variety of pants because uh, a lot of the work that I'm doing is bushwhacking and I just wasn't sure what I would like to wear out here. Uh, we've had, last week I was hiking around and it was 102 degrees. So, and now it's like 64 or 63 probably now. 
So big, big temperature swings because we have the monsoon rains coming in. And once the monsoons hit, they it gets really hot during the day and builds up and builds up. And then usually by afternoon, it rains and everything cools down considerably. So I wasn't sure what kind of pants I would want. So I've tried jeans and like cargo pants and uh, some hiking pants. And these have been my favorite. These are leggings reinforced or... Not, they're not actually reinforced. It's like a different material at the knees and th this different material is also on the butt. So they're a little bit more durable in the places where you might be like sitting or crawling or scooting or whatever. Uh, and I really liked them. They're from Patagonia. They're super comfortable. They have huge stretchy side pockets. You can kind of see. So I can fit a lot of things in the side pocket at one time. It also has like a little zipper side pocket, which is where I've been putting my car keys so that they're on my person, but they're not, uh, they're not going to fall out. And, and they're really comfortable and they seem to work for a variety of weather and, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. There's a part of me that like wants to have a second pair of these just because they're really nice in it. And I feel like once I get attached, I'll, I'll be really sad when they're gone. I don't have a favorite shirt yet, although this is probably pretty, it's pretty basic and simple. It has, it ripped in the back, so I just cut the whole bottom off because it kept getting worse and worse and snagging on things. And it has really big pockets. It has paint all over it because this is also a shirt that I've done a lot of renovation jobs in. Um, it's just a loose, lightweight cotton, and also blends in pretty good with this environment, which is nice. Um, the shoes that I've been wearing for the field work are these Iron Rangers by Red Wings. Um, and these ones have... I don't know what to say about these boots. I really like them and I want to love them. And I feel like these are a boot that will last a lifetime. The leather is such a good leather. It's really high quality and heavy. And these can be resold. And they fit really nice. And this is like a reinforced toe box here that can also be replaced if it wears out. Uh, the stitching is just high quality stitching all around. It's just, they're really nice shoes. Um, I struggled with them a lot in the beginning and kind of stopped wearing them for a little while. Uh, but I think it's actually just because they take a really long time to break in. And I don't know if this is true or just like a myth that keeps getting perpetuated, but I've heard from shoe people and cobblers, and I have a pricker in my pants, uh, probably cat claw. There's a lot of cat claw out here. Uh, that a hard to wear in boot is a boot that will last a long time. So maybe that's all it's been. Is <laughs> it just been a much longer wear in break in process period than I thought. So anyways, they've been good. They've been good out here. They've been comfortable. They have give me enough traction. Uh, and I appreciate that you know, I'm putting a lot of wear on them, but I can have like the, the soles re or rehealed, uh, you know, or retoed or whatever you would call that. And that's just really nice. The other shoe that I have out here that I'm really digging as like a camp shoe, because like I said, it's been getting really hot. Uh, so after I'm done with my field work, I put on a pair of shorts and I put on these sandals. And that's been really nice and I'm so glad to have these sandals. I can do a lot of hiking in them too. I did all my scouting today in these sandals and I was hiking on some pretty rocky terrain and like I said bushwhacking and they've been really comfortable and they're super grippy. I don't wear them for the field work because it's just um, like a company policy because your, your toes are a lot more exposed and vulnerable and then 
they could be liable for something, I suppose. I've really enjoyed having my journal. <laughs> um, this is getting almost unbearable <laughs> in size. And it's just like so bulky. I've been doing a lot of collaging and it's just been so much fun playing with, oh, this is a collage I can actually show you because there are no written words. So I just did a collage for the fun of it uh, in the back here. I did another collage for the fun of it. And although that one's not particularly interesting to look at, but I've been printing out pictures. I have like little things that make me happy and there's Brian laughing in bed at a YouTube video in my backpack and getting dressed for field work. I have a lot of fun just picking out outfits and trying to find what works. Uh, my glue stick and scissors and the Mark Plus highlighter <laughs> and my Uni Jet Stream multi-pen. Uh, I've been putting in stickers and even writing out my like wordle of the day. I've just been having a lot of fun with this with journaling again and it's just it's really nice um yeah so that's that also I ended up ordering two more Leutsch terms in the A5 size with the pen loop. I really liked having a pen loop. It's just nice to be able to keep these things together, especially not when not using a journal cover. Uh, but I ordered them from Atlas Stationers because Andrew at Pen Friends sent me a gift certificate for my birthday. So thank you, Andrew, if you're watching this. And that'll be nice to have. I mean, I have so many journals that are still unused and I, I have gone through phases where I'm like, I'm just going to use them all. Uh, and then I do for a little while and then go through a phase where it's like, no, I want to write in a journal that I'm inspired by in this very moment. So, ooh, got off on a little journal tangent. <laughs> I've been reading this book, The Lovely and Dangerous Launch of Lucy Cavanaugh, and I've really, really enjoyed it, and I've been lagging so much at the end because I'm afraid of what's going to happen, and I'm also afraid of the book ending because I just have, it's been, it's just been a joy to follow the character Lucy around. And, uh, yeah, so it's in the 1860s that this story takes place and she's from New York City moving out west and there's a lot of things that have happened, has happened in her life thus far. So that's just been really fascinating. Um, I have, I stopped bringing my tent and my sleeping bag because just a blanket and this little down blanket have been plenty. Although, we'll see about tonight. I guess with my windows open, it won't be a problem. I think I'll still be really comfortable. Um, I have two of those action packers. One for food and, or, and food-related things. And then the other for clothes and my bathroom bag and uh, random camping supplies. Oh, and lots of extra books. <laughs> yeah, I've just been lugging around a library just because I know I'm going to finish that one soon and I want to make sure I have books to read when it when the time comes. And I wasn't sure what kind of book I would be in the mood for, so I just brought along four, I think. Let me look. <laughs> I have... A Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is one of my favorite movies, and I've always wanted to read the book, so that would be really fun. I also have I, Robot, which is another one of my favorite movies, and I really need to read the book. I think I'm worried about reading this because, because I've wanted to read this for so long, because I've loved the movie for so long, but I love the movie so much that I'm worried that I will just not be as interested in the book. And usually it's the other way around, of course, but then I have the last Sinista, Quenista, Quenista. This is a sci-fi. I think this is a young adult. I actually don't know. And it doesn't matter. And then I have another Gamash 
Inspector Gamache story. This is the second in the series, A Fatal Grace. And I'm kind of excited to get back into Gamache too. So like I said, I just didn't know what I would be inspired by when I'm done reading. And now that I've pulled these out, I feel a little bit more excited to finish my current read. So just because I have some books that I'm also really excited about reading. Speaking of reading, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm like, I'm pretty much all set up for tomorrow. So now I just need to do some relaxing and unwinding and hopefully I can settle down and go to sleep early. It's still pretty light out. I think it's like 7.30 maybe. I don't know, my phone is the one that's recording and I can't see what the time is. Um, it's probably around 7.30. So I have a little time. <laughs> A little time, free time to kill. Um, I've done a Pilates routine, believe it or not. I put down a towel on the ground. Um, I couldn't find my yoga mat. I have no idea where it's gone. I put it somewhere where Bean couldn't get to it because Bean really likes the texture and scratches at it and chews on it. So I put it somewhere where he could no longer do that, and I don't know for the life of me where I put it. I was listening to a bird. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Good night, everybody. So this morning site was beautiful, um, a really deep drainage and everything was so wet after the big rain we had yesterday. And I, when I woke up this morning, it was 53 degrees and it felt so good. And I was able to put on my rain jacket and that actually kept me warm in the morning when I did my survey, which was very much appreciated. And yeah, it was, it was wonderful. I didn't see any cuckoos. I feel like that site has a lot of potential though. And maybe in the second or third visit of it, I will find a cuckoo. I am <laughs> a little bit bummed or, well, not quite discouraged. Just bummed that I haven't seen a cuckoo yet on my surveys. I've been, I've had many seven surveys now so it's kind of a bummer but they'll come <laughs> I'm, I'll find one uh, and then I spent the rest of the morning trying to access that one site again and bushwhacking all over the place for a couple of hours and now I'm just so tired so I set up a hammock and I'm gonna take a nap and then do some reading and writing I'm just kind of relax. I didn't find access to that site still, uh, so it might end up getting put on the chopping block. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to end the video now for good. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Okay, just kidding, I was not done with this video. I actually wanted to add this last part on because today is Thursday. 
I am not done with my week of surveys. However, I woke up this morning feeling so homesick. And while out in the field doing my surveys and a little bit after I was battling with myself, I felt weak or irresponsible or incapable of doing this work because I wanted to be home. And after battling with myself for a really long time, I decided, you know what? Why? Why is this a bad thing? It's okay to be homesick. It's a good thing. I have a home and a family that I want to see and I want to go home to. And it's not that far. So I packed up and I drove home and I'm so happy to be home. I'm so happy with the choice that I made. I feel like that was the right choice. I would have spent the rest of the day battling with myself or just feeling miserable. And I'm glad I came home. So tomorrow, that means I leave very early in the morning. I don't even, I haven't done the math yet, but it'll be very early, well before the sun rises. And I'll go and do my survey and then I'll come home again for the weekend. And yes, it, so it seemed silly to not stay down there for one more day to finish up my week. But I just, the, the feeling I had was just so strong and I just wanted to be home and I'm really grateful. And the last thing I wanted to say, not only did I come home to my family, uh, a friend was in town and it was great to see him as well. I didn't know I would, so that was a, a wonderful surprise. Uh, but I also received a package from Atlas Stationer, Atlas Stationers in Chicago, I believe. I have two new Leuchtturm journals. These are both a five size and hardcover and they're lined and I got matching pen loops. And I realized, <laughs> check this out, these journals match the two pens that I have been using the most. This was not planned. I swear it was not even in my conscious. Obviously it was in my subconscious. This is my theme for the summer. These are my colors, yellow and green, apparently. But anyways, I just thought that was so funny. I am very near to finishing up this journal. It has gotten pretty beat up and very bloated. So it'll be nice to start again with a clean surface and a and a thinner looking space so anyways now i'm going thank you all for watching